Hello, 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 everybody. My name is Nick. Welcome back to Den Mill Heritage Farms. So, it's been a little while since my last post, my last video, and I apologize. Um, but I, just on Friday, it's Thursday or Friday, I got some unexpected news. Um, and that news is that my sow is about a week or two away from giving birth. I thought I had about another month month and a half maybe so I was not prepared when it came to farrowing and now I uh, have to get this thing put together pretty quick so Saturday I was able to start on it and let me just show you what I've come up with so far so this here was one of our barns and uh, had a overhang already existing on it so right here where you can see the the line no, that's not poor planning. That's I did that on purpose because I'm going to put the door for the sow to come out and I'll have a fenced in area for her to be able to still come out and get some fresh air. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's take a look here. Alright, so this here, let me see if this, yeah, that's a little better. Obviously, doorway for her. I still got to get that gate up there. Um, this is where she's going to be at in this area. Um, these bumpers here are about 12 inches off the ground. And then the bumper there goes corner to corner. On the other side of that, let me show you. You can see it's open so, so they can still get underneath the, the piglets, that is. There's going to be a heat lamp right here. So the reason you do that is when the mom is here and she goes to lay down, the piglets need a place to escape to so they don't get laid on and killed. So they'll have their own heat lamp and heat source there so they don't have to rely on mama's heat. And uh, they'll be able to survive that way. Um, now, this is not gonna be a heated room. This is just going to be a block from the elements and the heat lamp is gonna be plenty for them to be able to survive. Uh, this right here is just a little walkway for me because uh, I've, I've heard that mamas can be very protective of their babies naturally um, for the first, you know, couple few days possibly. So when it, if something happens with the heat lamp and I have to address it, I don't want to be challenging mama to go and try to fix the heat lamp. So I had to make sure I had a walkway here. And then here's the same thing. And I did not plan this right because it was on the fly. I have my water right there. And I should have included right in here the walkway to the water. Um, but I didn't think of it until it was too late. So hopefully I won't be in a, a bind when it comes to that. There's going to be another gate here. I have to finish this right here and then put the gate. Um, and then this, this one turned out to be a little larger of an area. Um, it wasn't planned to be that way, but like I said, it was kind of on the fly, so that's just what happened. Um, this is where that door to go out to that outdoor area is going to be. So, so that is that. Um, yeah, we, we found that out that I noticed that, that her belly had dropped like big time, almost overnight. And, uh, and her teeth started filling up with, with you know milk naturally and uh and i thought man that i i don't know if they do that that quick in, in pregnancy so i i reached out to a couple of my friends and and um and they confirmed that she is within two weeks of giving birth so um at least in their estimation now there there is no given there's no guarantee um because nature is nature so and so if it ends up being still two or three weeks from now, that's fine. I still needed to get this ready. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to uh, do a quick update on that. And um, let me, might as well show you the other side here while, I, while we're here. Still have to clean this up a little bit. So that's the other side of it. Um, no, that is not a gap right there in that dark brown. That's not a gap, that's just the, the pine. So, 
those are gaps. So I'll be filling all of those in all the way around with like a liquid nails or, or something along those lines. Just to, to try to keep air seepage from coming in the best that I can. Sorry, it's loud over here. So yeah, I'll just try to block out the best I can. Um, I mean, I'm not going to be putting a furnace or a wood burning stove or anything like that over here. So, but I still want to try to try to do what I can to keep the draft out. They'll be fine if I left it the way it is, but it's just how I am, I guess. So that is it here shortly. I will try to give a, a video of the pigs. Um, uh, once I get done with a little bit more here and we'll go from there. All right. Thanks for joining me. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.